Can we decarbonize the aviation industry without SAF? No. Simple answer is no. I'm Julien Manès. I'm a head of a fuel efficiency and sustainable aviation fuel at Airbus. Aviation is very important to unite and connect people. And our ambition is to help the industry to do it in a more sustainable manner. We typically say that uh, aviation contributes from 2 to 3% of the man-made CO2 emissions. And uh, at Airbus, we uh, take responsibility for our share, which is nearly half of this. And uh, there aren't a lot of companies in the world that uh, can say that uh, their contribution, their footprint, CO2 footprint, is as big as that. We spend nearly 2 billion euros every year in research and development to make our aircraft as fuel efficient as possible and to prepare for the next generations. Our partnership with Neste is very important for us to reach the 100% SAF. We rely on cooperation. Today, there is a boundary at 50% SAF. It is very important that we keep that drop-in capability. And we need to work together between Airbus and Neste to break that barrier. We believe with bodies like ATAG that uh, to reach net zero by 2050, 53% will come from using SAF in operation. SAF is vital for the aviation industry uh, because SAF is compatible with today's aircraft and today's infrastructure. And that's the beauty of SAF, that you can fly on SAF today without having to do any modifications on the aircraft nor the fuel distribution systems. The industry has acknowledged that it needs to do something. With all the actors of uh, the value chain, we need more and more airlines to embark on their sustainability journey. We need more and more corporate customers to uh, reach agreement with airlines to buy SAF and reduce their CO2 footprint. It's uh, cooperating with the SAF producers, such as Neste, but also cooperate in uh, developing the SAF of the futures that will be available in bigger volumes and more affordable. It was all natural for us to pioneer together with the leader in uh, the SAF space, Neste. <laughs>